Hello, my name is Patrick Palman and I consider myself a cyborg. I have uh, 34 implants in total right now. I'm uh, 30 years old, I'm from the Netherlands and in my daily life I work as a security guard. So we have uh, arrived at the hacker space um, and here's the door, the door is closed. Uh, oh yeah, luckily I have uh, my, my implant. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the hacker space it's a, a physical location where, uh, where the participants uh, can, uh, can, can go to and where we can uh, uh, work on projects. Uh, we uh, started this, uh, this place in 2000, yeah, late 2010. Yeah, uh, and I have experience with uh, biohacking, with uh, hacking my own body. Uh, it's a whip. Um, it's made of uh, network cables. So um, if you have someone uh, doesn't behave on the network, then they can, then we can whip them. No, I'm kidding. This is our uh, bar system, how uh, people sign in either by typing their nickname using the keyboard, how I do it, I have implants. I just have to scan my implant and then I'm signed in. It's a nice system. I was very curious. I wanted to know what it's like uh, to be able to feel magnetic and electromagnetic fields from a short distance. I did some, some research. I ordered uh, magnets uh, online. You can't uh, put a raw magnet under the skin because that's uh, toxic. So you need to add coating uh, to the magnet so that the body does not reject it. So I ordered uh, the magnets, I ordered coating, and I took it to a piercing shop. I asked them, hey, can you install this uh, magnet implant in my fingertip? The piercer said, uh, no. <laughs> I decided to, to do it myself. What I did was I uh, disinfected the skin, disinfected a pocket knife. I uh, made an incision in the back of my hand and then I put a magnet onto the skin. And it's, a, it's a very small magnet, uh, one millimeter high, two millimeter yeah. diameter uh, with a coating around it. Retract. Don't do it by yourself at home. Uh, this is an old uh, x-ray photo of my hands, it's, it's my hands, but it's an old x-ray photo because since this um, uh, photo was made uh, I had many more implants installed. Uh, here I have one, two, three, four, and uh, this one, uh, this one. At the airport the metal detector gate uh, does not detect my implants because they're uh, too small. Yeah, I have a um, contactless payment implant. As far as I am aware, I was the first uh, with a contactless payment implant uh, in 2019. And then I, I uh, for example, go to the grocery store and then when I pay with my contactless payment implant, yeah, then you get different reactions. Cashiers, they, they freak out, uh, they uh, or respond to, oh, I've never, never seen this before. Uh, Co-worker, come, come over here and, and see how he paid. Uh, can, you, can you show it again? Can you show it again? <laughs> yes, I grew up with, with movies such as um, uh, Terminator and Robocop and, um, um, and later The Matrix. Uh, yeah, I found it uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, now I have technology under the skin. But privacy about the data. Um, my implants, it's, it's easy because I am in control, in control of uh, which data I store on my implants. I can always change the, the data on my implants. I don't have to remove the implant to change the data. I can just uh, use a, a smartphone or other compatible RFID uh, writer device to change the data. Big companies like uh, Facebook and Google, um, yeah, you have to be careful what uh, data you share with such companies. Um, Personally, I either use um, my implants uh, that I'm in control of, OTP codes, uh, one-time password codes uh, generated uh, uh, by this advanced uh, implant. I just have to scan my implant and then I'm logged in. I'm not worried about, uh, about my personal data that I put on my implants um, because 
Um, to read my implants, uh, uh, yeah, first you have to know that I have these implants. Then you have to know um, where in my body I have these implants. You have to know uh, which uh, communication protocol, as everybody else uh, or most people, I do carry a, a smartphone. And I, so if you want to track me, track my smartphone. I would like an, an implant um, yeah, that can, can um, read some uh, data from my body. Uh, uh, glucose level uh, to, to measure blood pressure. Um. So regarding the laws about uh, body modification and implants, yeah, here in, in the Netherlands, um, yeah, we have bodily autonomy and, and privacy laws. This is uh, my body and uh, I decide what I do with my body. My body, my choice, my implants. I'm a very curious person. I want to know how technology works. Uh, there are not many people with uh, chip implants in this world. And um, so I think it's important that there are people who have experience with uh, implants, with uh, chip implants and magnet implants, before it gets as, as popular as uh, other body modifications, uh, like tattoos and piercings. I don't think that uh, that everybody will uh, have an implant. Uh, I don't think so, because not everybody wants to modify their body, whether it's uh, with a piercing or a tattoo or an implant. Uh, yeah, uh, there are different uh, cultures and, and different religions, and uh, there are people who uh, who believe in uh, conspiracy theories. They don't want anything to do with uh, implants. It's uh, locked. And I scan my implant, and it's unlocked. Yeah, what I think about uh, the Neuralink uh, implant um, it's innovative and uh, it might be uh, yeah, very interesting for maybe people who are uh, disabled. Um, I don't want one myself. What I would want is uh, uh, implants to be, to, to be designed uh, with uh, open source and uh, open hardware uh, yeah, before I get something implanted in my brain. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, unique. I'm a, I'm a pioneer. I want to, to spread um, uh, factual information about uh, the technology, not fake news. <laughs>